We're at the Rakuten Open RAN Customer Experience Centre in Weybridge, UK. The centre has just opened today. I'm here with uh, Ravi Tabusi, who is the Chief Business Officer at Rakuten uh, Symphony. Ravi, thanks very much for joining us. No problem. Thank you for joining us today, Ray. Uh, my pleasure. Now, uh, this centre here, opening now, it's for um, customers and partners and anybody that uh, wants to come and, uh, and test their technology, see if it's interoperable for Open RAN. Why is it important for Rakuten Symphony and Rakuten Mobile to be doing that here in the UK? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's super important, not just for the UK, but for the region. So we're very pleased that we've managed to get support from the UK government as well as the Japanese government who has actually funded this lab through the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications. Um, and now what we have here is an end-to-end -end open RAN lab with a lot of capabilities to showcase and test and validate uh, certain elements of the ORAN uh, and show it to the potential customers or the existing customers that we have in the region. But it also provides, because we have plenty of additional capacity, as I was explaining earlier, the compute systems that sit here have a lot more potential in them. It opens up the door now to work and collaborate with academia, with the ecosystem of suppliers and the open RU or the open radio unit and antennas. And eventually, as we deploy our RAN intelligent controller and opens up the opportunity to, to test and validate X apps and R apps that serve the day-to-day -day operation, implementation, and troubleshooting of the new breeds of networks. Yeah, now those software apps, that's where there's an expectation that a lot of innovation is going to happen with the development of those apps. How can you attract companies to come and engage uh, with yourself and other partners here? What, what can you do to get them in the door? Yeah, so I mean, uh, naturally we're, we're a global company, so we have relationships across the globe with so many innovators. Uh, but what the team has done here, in the UK at least, they started uh, uh, in, in engaging with academia, with some of the universities, to encourage certain areas of focus and research and to have a transfer of information and transfer of knowledge between industry and academia to encourage research and focus in some of the new nascent technologies that are needed for this digital transformation that's taking place across mobile networks. Additionally, obviously, the very close uh, collaboration with the UK government and the regional EU uh, governments, regulators, policymakers, uh, I believe this will open the door for us to encourage uh, new uh, potential areas of research that can come and validate some of those innovative ideas into this lab as well. Now, what is it that the customers of Rakuten Symphony want to see tested in these kind of facilities? I would imagine security might crop up quite a lot. Yeah. So, I mean, look, there's different areas. In every domain, there's at least some form of validation and testing that needs to take place. Uh, we prefer that to be quite uh, efficient. Uh, and that's another reason why we built this lab here. So instead of replicating those kind of ORAN deployments and environments in a POC or a trial, we can always validate here. Uh, and this accelerates the time to market and reduces the cost of such validation. But additionally, I think uh, there are a lot of areas that are quite misunderstood uh, because of the nascency of the technology. Security is one of them. Uh, and there's, there's a lot of truth of the potential vulnerabilities and the areas of uh, concerns that exist today, just like with any digital system. But there's a lot of FUD. So this lab will demystify uh, the good from the bad and the FUD from reality. And uh, it'll also help us really proof the uh, resiliency of ORAN, the resiliency of the virtualization and the cloud layer that ORAN runs on. Because to be honest with you currently, cloud has been used in almost every industry and every domain, including telecom. But having it now in RAN, where the big spend is, and typically that spend goes to a handful of suppliers, it raises a question mark. Uh, but regulators, policymakers, security experts, and the standards bodies around the world have already set 
the right guidelines and the right uh, guardrails for how to secure a cloud-based deployment of your radio access network. Okay. And our practical reference from the, our, our own network in Japan, whatever customer environment we are deploying right now can also be shared as a proof point of the resiliency of the ORAN cloud native deployment. Okay, and finally, just on that point, how much of what is done here and the results of what is done here will be shared with the broader industry, say through an organization like TIP or through the Rakuten Symphony ecosystem? Yeah, I would say a lot of it, if not most, if not all of it actually, because our test beds execute test plans that are defined by TIP or an alliance, class for, uh, test uh, category four, five, six, very soon seven will be implemented, which is the security domain. So these are not Rakuten proprietary or Rakuten sure. specific. These are industry uh, and, and the test results and the outcome of those validation exercises will be shared uh, with all the constituents yeah. and the stakeholders. There's no secrets here. And the broader industry? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Well, that's great to know. Yeah. Rabbi, thanks very much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Always good talking to Thank you, Ray. You. Yeah.